Right everyone, welcome, Ryan here from the London Craftsman channel, how are you? Today's video is all about Banggood and the Banggood tools, hand tools, woodworking tools. Um, I'm not sure if everyone knows about Banggood, but they are an online store, they're from China. They sell everything from electric bikes to computers to power tools to hand tools. Anything that you probably can think of, they have. So what I have behind me is five of them. They're all woodworking hand tools. And I wanna share these because these are essentially woodworking essentials that if you're making wardrobes or fitted furniture like I do, these hand tools are gonna to be perfect for you. And plus the fact that they are just ridiculously cheap is another reason why I wanna share these with you. So I want to bring up one thing before I start. A few of you have pointed out in previous videos that these are copies of woodpeckers or other brands, and I'm not going to say they're not. A couple of them, to be honest, most of them are near enough like for like, and I'm not going to say that's right or wrong. That's up to you to choose. But when you're shopping around for tools in this day and age, you know, everyone's struggling with money. You're gonna be looking around for the cheapest tool out there, aren't you? You're not gonna be paying ridiculously high prices for something where you can get it a quarter or a third of the price. And yeah, I'm gonna bring up the point that, you know, Woodpeckers is from USA, they're paying high wages, they've designed it, so they're plowing in a lot more money into getting the product made. But, you know, it's, it's a lot, a lot more money um, when it comes to it. I've worked out that these are generally about a third of the price of woodpeckers. So I'm not gonna be saying it's right to buy these, it's totally up to you, but I do wanna show you them just in case, like me, you do wanna buy um, a fantastic quality tool for not a lot of money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the camera and show you around all the tools. Right, before I start, anyone who uh, has been watching me, and have subscribed already. Thank you very much. If you haven't and you like my content or you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. It helps me out so much. Thank you very much. Also like and comment would be a great thing to do also. So here on my ultimate workbench, um, we've got a selection of tools and these are all from Banggood. Um, we've got a selection here and mainly aluminium and they're in no particular order, but Let's just start with the parallel guides, okay? So over here we've got parallel guides. So anyone who is cutting up materials and sheet materials mainly, a set of parallel guides is probably an essential. Not everyone's got a table saw. And to be honest, if you are cutting on a table saw and you're cutting big sheets, eight by fours, 10 by fives, it's quite hard to do that on your own, isn't it? Whereas this is where the parallel guides come in handy. So if you're ripping a full size sheet in half, for example, down the long rip, then you can get yourself a three metre track and you can get yourself a parallel guide kit and away you go, you can start cutting up. You can also use the 1.4, 1.5 metre tracks with these also. And, um, you know, do smaller cuts also. But these are really, really handy. They have got a feature on them, unlike a few other companies out there where they can do small rips. And this is what these two bars are for, these two rods. And these two rods slip into these little guides here. These are extensions, so you can have them as long as you want and you can buy as many as you want of them. They come with eight pieces. And so I believe each one of these is 300 mil long. So you can you, you get 1200 mil long arms, two of them. So it's perfect for a whole sheet of eight by four. Like I said, you can buy more. So if you are buying oversized sheets, you could just buy yourself another one of these sets, the extension kits and make it as big as you want. I'm not too sure what tracks they suit. I've got Makita. Um, I'm not sure, a lot of people have been asking, but if you look on the Banggood website, it'll tell you what brands they do work with. But don't worry about that. If it doesn't fit, all you do need to do is change these bars here, because ultimately these silver bars are the pieces that go into your track, that fix your parallel guides to your track. So if it's not fitting, all you need to do is get yourself a set of these bars 
and um, that feet will track and away you go. It should be perfect. So don't be upset or anything if you think that it's not going to fit your track. Just change those pieces over and you should be fine. So these are great, like I said, because they've got the thin rips and they can extend to however long you like them. But what I do like about them is that they are really, really substantial. Other companies out there, I'm not going to say brands, um, they aren't made in this manner where, you know, look how solid this piece is. You know, this aluminium is like two or three mil thick aluminium all the way through. And it's made in such a way where it's, there's a ton of strength in there. So when you're picking it up, there's hardly any flex. If you've got the track on it, there's, they're really, really tough and strong pieces. So they're really, really well made and they're nice to use. And I like also the way these little um, stoppers slide in and out. They've got these little um, twisty knobs that you can tighten and they lock back up. These turn quite nicely as well, so they're nice and tight and they've got no play in them. I really, really do like these parallel guides. I've been using them for a couple of years. I've actually got three sets of these. What can I say? They're parallel guides. They're gonna get you out of trouble. They're fantastic. And then, like I said, if you're cutting up lots of components and you don't have a table saw, you're struggling for space with a table saw, these are perfect. And the price for the parallel guides are, you're probably not gonna guess these. In woodpeckers, they're something like three or 400 pounds. Um, over on Banggood, they are 88 pounds and 74p. So that's just ridiculous, really. Okay, so moving over to the right, we've got the track saw square. And this is a great bit of kit, I like this. It's quite on the heavy side, and I think the reason behind that is that the, the silver parts are steel. All the red parts are aluminium, all CNC machined aluminium. Um, but I love the fact that it's adjustable. It, it adjusts up to 60 degrees, which is insane. And it comes with this little clip here. So you slide your track onto these two and then you just clip it down. Nice, quick and easy assembly of your track in a couple of seconds. It's also got this tab. So when you are doing your cross cuts and you have got your track on, the tab sits on your bench and it doesn't swivel down and drop. So that's a nice little touch. So with the adjustable part of this, you just release that knob and then you just lift this up and you just move your track to wherever you want it and it drops into five degree increments. You can do one, two, three degrees, whatever you want to do. It just won't locate into the position. You just lock the knob and away you go. But it's a fantastic um, thing to have and paired up with your parallel guides. It's a perfect match, really. If you are going to be buying the parallel guides, you can get away with just using the parallel guides. But if you want the whole kit and you're ripping up lots of materials, you've got a whole job to do, then it just makes sense to buy one of these. And it's quite nice, big and chunky. It's about 350 by about 150. So it's a nice surface area okay so we've got 350 ish maybe more 400 for it to sit up against your work so it's um gonna keep the track saw really really square for you i've seen smaller versions of these or cheaper versions where they're quite small and it's less likely that it's going to keep that track nice and square so looking at the track saw square this is 108 pounds which is again it's ridiculous it's aluminium made it's adjustable you can buy track saw squares without adjustability on them and they're probably 150, 200 quid. So I like that. And um, yeah, fantastic pair. They both look the same. They've both got the same finish and um, from the same brand too. So moving on, we've got the Hongdui um, chamfer plane. And we used to use, um, where is it now? We've got this Katsu router with a roundover cutter. So we used to use, or we still do every now and then, use the 1.6 millimeter radius cutter. I'm not saying that we don't use it. It's a mixture of both. But um, we use these for a couple of years. And the downside with that is that the cutters get blunt over time. It's costing you, it's, it's kicking up the dust as you're using it. Whereas this, it does two things for you. One, it'll give you an actual straight chamfer, so a diagonal cut across the corner of your piece. Or another one, it will give you the round over. 
So as you can see on my workbench, we put little um, roundovers on all our components. And you know, if you're doing this with sandpaper or anything like that, definitely make the switch to either one of these or one of these 1.6 millimeter router um, roundover cutters. Going back to the, the Hong Dewey, I like the fact that it's fully adjustable. You can do the actual chamfer or the roundover. Plus it's got these exchangeable cutters, which are relatively inexpensive. You just get the Allen key on there and just swap it round. It's got two on each side, by the way. So if one gets blunt, you just flip it round 180. So, it, you know, it lasts quite a while. I like this because the fact that it's dust free and it's just one swipe. You don't have to pick up a heavy router, turn it on and run it through. It just gives you a nice round over, really, really easy on MDF, ply, timber, anything like that. And it stays sharp for a long time. I think we've only changed this cutter once in six months or swapped it around. Um, we've got adjustability on both of them. So zero to five mil by the looks of it. And you can tighten it with this knob and adjust it with these. So I do like that. The downside with this, I thought, I thought it was quite expensive. It's saying that it's um, 63 pounds. It is substantial though. It's heavy. It's not a cheap piece of crap. It's well made. There's nothing I could pull up on it that would say, no, it's rubbish. It's the build quality is really, really good, just like these two. In fact, they all are, to be honest. So if you are looking for roundover cutters, whether it's a natural roundover or a chamfer, maybe think about this as a possibility. Like I said, this one is 63, 62. Over here, we've got a selection of squares. I didn't know which one to do, and I have got all of the size of, sizes of these. Um, from 200 mil, I believe, all the way up to 750. I've only got two of them out. I think I've got about 15 or so of these squares, but they're all in boxes at the moment. So I like all of these really, and most of them get used. I'd say this one doesn't get used as much, but these two are our everyday sort of squares, everyday use. And these two come in handy some of the times. We haven't got the other ones out of the boxes, but they're all aluminium, and they have all got these micro holes on them at one millimeter increments, even this small one does. And as you can see, all the markings are nicely marked on them, nice, easy to read markings. And um, yeah, they've all got the Vico markings on them, the red and black, and I quite like the fact that they all match, all the same color. I couldn't choose between them because we use them all. These are my go-to, and these two are for any longer pieces if we're squaring across. Larger areas, obviously this one. And I can't remember if these bigger ones came as two pieces. If they do, it's just four fixings and away you go, just get another square and nip them up. But they do have adjustability in them. If they do come pre-made, you can just release um, a, a screw, a bolt, whatever you call them, and just square them up, no problem at all. But they are nice, they are lightweight. And for the price that they are, you just cannot go wrong. So this 300 mil square, it's gonna cost you only 29 pounds, the bigger one of these, 29 pounds and 30p. The smaller one is only 15 pounds and 90. The carpenter's square, this is only 21 pounds and 76 pence. This T-square again, 300 mil. Did I say 200 mil? This is 200 mil. This is 300 mil. This 300 mil T-square is 21 pounds and 76p also. And moving on, we're going over to the 600 mil square, T square, that's only 38 pounds and 51 pence. So if you're looking at one of these from Woodpeckers, you're looking at three times the price and I can't really justify that in my eyes. To be honest, the reason I'm making this video is I just can't justify the price of um, buying these anywhere else other than Banggood just because the quality is outstanding. They are all aluminium lightweight, made on CNC machines mainly. They do what they say, they're very, very accurate. And why would you spend any more money elsewhere? Okay, that's my rant over. We're gonna move on to the last one. And I do have loads more I wanna show you. Maybe you'll keep those to another video, but we're going on to these ratchet clamps. And I really love ratchet clamps um, as clamps, you know, rather than the twisty versions, just because they're so easy to use. So firstly, these work on your track. So they'll slide into your um, your plunge saw track. 
So when you're clamping it down, they work by sliding into the underneath and you clamp it, clamp it to your work. You can also use these on your MFT table, your dog holes, and they work perfectly. You've got no complaints about that. One thing that I did bring up last time in my workshop tour video is I use this system here, um, this track on the side, along with these dowels, when I'm clamping work to the side of my bench. These can just simply slide in wherever you like. Get your piece in there, push it, clamp it, solid. And then you just push the button and away you go. So that's one handed, got the camera in the other hand. And I love these also. Again, I love all of them. And this is why I'm sharing these with you. These are dirt cheap also. So these are Bessie copies, I believe. I'm gonna say Bessie copies, they look like them and they have exactly the same components by the looks. I've, I've got a set of Bessies and they look like, to, like for like. Um, they've got the same color. I like the fact that they're all red so they all kind of match. And these are the 160 by 60 versions. I think you can get slightly longer versions, but um, yeah, they work really, really well and they are stupidly cheap also. So this is the last one to say. And as for a set of two, they're gonna set you back only 33 pounds and 48 pence. So whenever you buy from Banggood, the price that you see is generally what you pay. There's nothing to pay on top. One thing I would say is if you are buying a whole load, just buy them in a couple of um, packages, in a couple of goes. Don't make that parcel too big or heavy. You may get import charge. I never have um, for everything I've bought, so I've had no worries there. But I've heard that if you buy a whole bundle, you've got a big box or a big load of weight, then you're more likely to get an import charge. So if you are buying all these, maybe buy it in two or three sections, it's not gonna cost you any more money. It's just gonna be just doing it in a couple of sections in your basket. So there you have it, my selection of Banggood tools from the parallel guides to the adjustable track saw square, to the champ of plane, to the selection of squares and the ratchet clamps. There are tons more to buy, obviously. I've got like the drill press, I've got different size squares, I've got squaring up clamps, everything really for woodworking and I've had no complaints with them. But these are my five, which I would say, you know, they're perfect for everyday use. So I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. So if you subscribe, that means such a lot to me, I'm trying to build the channel, do everything on my own from woodworking to fitting to, um, admin to making the videos, even editing the videos and getting them out for you. It takes a lot of time and effort and I do try not to miss one. I've been doing them for about two and a half years now, non-stop, once every Sunday without missing one. Might have missed one. So subscribing means a massive deal to me. So if you've liked this, please, please, please subscribe. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you think of all the products, if you've got any, if you've got any comments um, about any of them, good or bad, it'd be nice to let other people know what you think of them also. So I'm gonna leave it at that, hope you enjoyed. Take it easy, I'll see you next Sunday. Ciao for now.